Now, more importantly, <coughs> sorry, being homeless is me sick now. So, here's what's important. Uh, when I lived in Pine Valley, I lived in a place called Guatai. If I took a certain uh, Descanso Road exit to get home, I would have driven past that place on February 1st, 2001, where someone abducts me, drives up to that road off of the 8 freeway out near Pine Valley, Guatai, and does a surgery on me of some sort off on the side of the freeway exit on Descanso Road. So when I lived in uh, Guatai, I would come home every day and take that exit. But that's when I started jumping a lot. And I believe the reason why I jumped a lot, I would normally go seven to eight, maybe 10 miles. I would always jump past the Descanso Road exit and go like five miles east and land on the other side of the Pine Valley Bridge just before the Pine Valley Road exit. And I did this a lot. It's very important it can shut down the Navy tonight if I explain it right. I didn't get that surgery till 2010. I jumped probably 20 times there. Did someone take credit for those jumps? And if so, how did they take credit for it? Because I didn't have a microchip before 2010 and I was jumping. And there, were, there was a time when they dropped a tree on me and I jumped through the tree. Did someone take all the times I saved my own life by disappearing and reappearing? And did he take credit for all the previous jumps I did as John Locke when he put a microchip in me and figured out how to get me jumping through my microchip? And if so, does that mean that he got the ability to cripple my wings because he just said, look, I'm tired of being an angel and saving the guy. And I, these are all the times I jumped him when in fact they dropped a tree on me and tried to hurt me and I just jumped through it. And so then they get a microchip in me. No, this is real. I could shut them down tonight because look, are they taking credit for all the jumps I've done? And if so, then how did they do the jump in 2001 when I didn't have the microchip in me? And what things am I ineligible for because they're claiming that they're the ones that jumped me and saved my life and I'm just an ungrateful asshole? In other words, do they cripple my wings after a while and say, look, he doesn't deserve to have wings anymore. We do because we saved his life. I think this is a very plausible area for the lawyers to open up on with all the other stuff I've given them. Hope that makes sense. Thank you.